Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you ever wonder how we come up with our topics? Or maybe how we come up with engaging, captivating scripts? Or maybe you would like to be a part of our script writing team, but don't yet have the skills. We have a solution for that thanks to our sponsor, Skillshare, a great place where we can learn new things with their online classes. And they have courses on animation as well. Watch this video till the end to find out more. Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. And thank you so much for all the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. As a quick disclaimer, we wanted our viewers to know that this is a fun activity video. And this video should not be taken too seriously or used as any kind of diagnostic criteria. With that said, let's continue. Did you know that not only do you have a physical age, which changes with the ever turning wheel of time, but that you also have a mental age that will never change. Different from your physical age, your mental age is how old you are emotionally and psychologically. Your physical age and your mental age do not have to be the same. As an adult, you can have a low mental age, processing a childlike view of the world around you. A young person can have a high mental age, indicating that you're wise beyond your years. It's important to note that mental age is also not your IQ number, but rather an expression of how you feel inside. Figuring out what your mental age is is a great way to become more self-aware. If you'd like to learn about your mental age now, grab a pen and paper or open up the notes app on your device. You can take this fun quiz to determine your mental age. There are 10 questions to answer, so make sure you mark your answers as we go. Let's begin. Number one, what do you usually do when you make a mistake? A, admit you made an error and try to fix it. B, try to figure out why you made the mistake in the first place. Or C, laugh at your silly mistake and ask for help so you don't make another one. Number two, What's the first thing you do when a friend cancels plans on you last minute? A, tell them it happens and find another way to spend your time. B, feel upset about it, but move on eventually. C, try to find another day to hang out and have fun together. Number three, how would you normally react if someone was angry with you? A, give them space to be angry before talking to them. B, try to work things out right away, or C, tell them jokes until they forget their anger. Number four, what's the first thing you would do if you won the lottery? A, pay off your bills and put the rest in a savings account. B, go on vacation and make new happy memories, or C, buy that cool thing you've been wanting for a while. Number five, What's the first thing you would do if you had to choose between two equally good things? A, think on your previous experiences so you make an informed decision based on facts. B, make a list of pros and cons and then choose the option with more pros. Or C, ask someone for their opinion and do what they suggest. Number six, how do you usually handle a major disagreement in the workplace or in school? A, Calmly discuss the disagreement and try to come up with a compromise. B, go to a supervisor or teacher who would be able to help figure out what to do. Or C, get the other person to see your side of things. Number seven, what would you usually do if you had a big project due tomorrow? A, get started on it right away so you'll be able to relax later. B, Take some time to relax first and then start working on it as soon as you're done relaxing. Or C, alternate between working on it and taking breaks. Number eight, which of your responsibilities would you eliminate if you could? A, paying bills. B, doing laundry. Or C, picking up after yourself. Number nine, how would you habitually react when someone compliments you? A, Accept the compliment and give them one in return. B, accept the compliment and thank whoever complimented you. Or C, don't accept the compliment by saying you don't deserve it. And number 10, how do you normally respond when you embarrass yourself? A, acknowledge and validate your feelings but realize it doesn't matter in the long run. B, 
be, try to pretend like nothing happened, but internally obsess over the feeling of embarrassment, or C, feel upset over it and possibly even cry. Okay, are you ready for your results? If you got mostly A's, your mental age is between 40 and 55. Your mindset is more so self-assured and secure. You tend to think about things in a matured manner. If you answered B the most, your mental age is 20 to 40 years old. You struggle with finding your way. And though it may be difficult, you always wind up on the right path in the end. If you answered mostly C's, your mental age is between 10 and 20 years old and your perception of the world is young and bright. When I took the test, my mental age was rated higher than my chronological age. And I agree with my results. I've always kind of felt like an old soul. Do you feel like your mental age is aligned with your actual age? What score did you get? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you had fun taking the quiz. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Did you relate to any of the points in this video? What do you think of the animation? Let us know in the comments below. Before we wrap up this video, we wanna mention that we're happy to have Skillshare as a sponsor today because they really promote the idea of a self-made you. Are you planning on learning a new skill? Perhaps on story writing, journaling, or script writing? Are you looking through as many YouTube channels as you can for tutorials and tips, but waste a lot of time on some not so helpful ones? It would be great if everything you needed was all in one place. Skillshare has thousands of catered courses across all kinds of topics like design, business, tech, and more. There is truly something for everyone. Skillshare has a great intro class on productivity that we really recommend. The course is called Creativity Unleashed. Discover, hone, and share your voice online by Nathaniel Drew. He goes into detail on finding your own creative fuel, addressing your insecurities, and figuring out ways to engage yourself while evolving your work. If any of you are interested in learning how to get more things done in a day, I recommend you go check it out in the link below. The first 1,000 people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, and after that, it's only about 10 bucks a month. Let us know what Skillshare courses you're taking in the comments below. Thanks for watching.